You can go now. Alright, so, politics. I know it's boring, but anyway, mine is about uh, to be a liberal or not to be, or excuse me, a libertarian or not to be a libertarian. Hopefully you can stay awake for this. I won't go over five or six minutes. At least I'll try my best. So anyway, libertarian is kind of a mix between peace and uh, conservative economics, as you see right here. I uh, also found in freedom. Um, and then right here, you know, we have Republicans and Democrats looking it out. Um, kind of a little symbolism for why there's a two-party system. But anyway, that leads me into my next point being the libertarians. So in case you've never seen this chart, um, you know, of course you've got the Republicans on the right side, which is economic freedom. So you see it lacks the personal freedom right here. So that's the right wing. And of course we all know these, communism, fascism, where you don't get any freedom. Left wing, you get a lot of personal freedom, but not much economic freedom. So personally, in my mind, I would consider the Libertarian Party. Now, um, basically, some facts about the Libertarian Party is that um, it's really just based off uh, personal freedom. Uh, it's just it gives the individual the right. It, it gives you like. It doesn't insult your intelligence, basically. It acknowledges the fact that you're a human being, you're an adult, you should be able to do what you want and do what you wish. Uh, the Libertarian Party is relatively new. Um, and really, in my mind, it's like a combination of the two, and that's why I like it so much. And it is actually the third biggest party. Um, there were a, a significant amount of voters in the last election that uh, voted Libertarian, believe it or not. And these are just some of the different schools right here, the different libertarian philosophies. You see they got left libertarian individualism. Um, also, one of the uh, forms of libertarian is anarchy, too. But um, again, this is a uh, make up your own mind type uh, discussion. So I'm uh, making the transition between the uh, libertarian and the other three parties I'm going to discuss. Uh, we're just going to show kind of the pros and cons. Of course, uh, in case you didn't notice any cons in Libertarian, uh, if you know anything about Ron Paul, he's an advocate for a uh, pro drug use. Uh, I've never seen an interview and they said so few would leave last year when he said, yeah, you know, and if they did, would anybody in here go do it? I mean, it's kind of obvious. Uh, I mean, and a few facts about it is it comes from the Latin, uh, Latin root liber, which means liberty uh, or free. Um, so anyway, moving on to Conservative, again you'll see here, conservative is to preserve, and that's why you see uh, they got two different types of conservatives, but uh, they both kind of fall in the uh, same type category. Um, the first group is that they work to try and keep things the way they are and struggle to maintain stability and add to continuity. And the other group opposes politics and dealing with modernism and thinks it's best to return America to the way things work. But, of course, it's not very progressive and doesn't get us very far, so that would be the con. Um, uh, the main view of conservatism, uh, just to paraphrase it, uh, British Conservative Party said, uh, conservatism is not really a philosophy as much as an attitude, constant force, a timeless gear functioning and development of a free society. Yeah, with this said, uh, it's also made uh, point out that um, it's all in relation to a deep, permanent, required responsibility of man on itself, which also relates to the Libertarian Party. Uh, it's similar to uh, Libertarianism. Uh, it has many schools, including the Christian right, the Jewish right, Hindu nationalism, Islam, and traditional Catholics, if you can believe that. You can look it up if you don't. And uh, in transition, although it seems like it may be blatantly different between conservatism and uh, liberalism, there are actually many similarities. I had to get both on one slide. Libertarian is a philosophy that promotes the importance of liberty and equal rights. Uh, the word liberal comes from the Latin word liberalis, meaning freedom. Uh, we also know that there's two types of liberals. Um, the struggle of the Liberal Party is that it works towards uh, maintaining traditional, institutional, uh, 
support and with his constituents. Uh, there are many famous historical figures that are a, uh, liberals, including John Locke, Adam Smith, Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Paine, David Hume, Jeremy Bentham, uh, and John Rawls, if you know much about philosophy. Uh, let's see here. And I uh, couldn't forget the neoconservatives. I know we had a discussion about that earlier, and it is an actual recognized party. Uh, I don't think you necessarily vote for it. Um, the definition given is that uh, neo is new or abnormal. Neoconservatism in the U.S. is a branch of American conservatism that is known for its advocacy for using American economic and military power to topple American enemies and promote liberal democracy in other countries. Emerged in the 1970s, among Democrats who disagreed with the power's growing opposition to the Vietnam War and became skeptical of great society's welfare programs. Um, anyway, a little bit of facts and truth about the uh, neoconservatives is that they were driven by the notion that the uh, liberalism had failed and no longer knew what they were talking about. So the term neoconservative was brought back to the attention of the mass media during the president of none other than George W. Bush. Um, neoconservatives rejected the counterculture of the 1960s and considered them the new left, so maybe that's the neo-left. And um, they disliked them because of their uh, movement against the Vietnam War. Um, also, uh, Leo Strauss, who's a uh, well-known neoconservative, had neoconservative ideology, was also quoted as saying that uh, religion is an instrument of promoting morality. Religion becomes what Plato called a noble lie. It's a myth that is told in the majority of society by the philosophical elite, philosophical elite in order to uh, share order. So uh, I just thought that that was a little bit sketchy. Um, anyway, uh, there's different types of things that uh, the... Uh, neoconservatives do have to offer, and uh, I would never say that uh, not going to Iraq wasn't the right thing. I think it was necessary. In conclusion, um, there's all sorts of uh, different types of uh, beliefs you can go for, and really need to pick the one that's best for you. Uh, a liberal of sorts, a man named Thomas Hill Green was quoted as saying, freedom has been confined to the power of, the power to do what one wills. Bear in mind, though, this was from a person who rejected the ideas that humans were driven by self-interest and says he stressed that the new liberty was to act rather than avoid suffering. He said to act rather than suffer. I mistyped that, excuse me. Another one I learned is I hope you can pass on is to make simple life choices, the alone making I totally messed this one up. I'm sorry about that. My final point is whether or not I'm libertarian or you are, we as Americans are very blessed to be born with the choice to decide our party affiliation. After doing a considerable amount of research, I see now it's difficult to cut through the political banter and make the choice you feel is right in your heart. Uh, I now know that the cha uh, challenge that you encounter from here on out, and uh, let's just hope we do the best. Uh, thank you.